Hey, what's going on, guys? It's me, Quinn, and it's been quite a while. It's been way, way, way too long. Uh, I have classes now. I got a haircut, and yeah, there's a lot. Oh, I have a job too. It's fun. Oh, the I make it fun, so I enjoy it. Um, I haven't had headphones that have had a mic in a while, so I haven't really been able to make videos. And then I have work. I had I had school, and then and now I have work, and there's a lot. So this is what's gonna be like an update video talking about stuff that's been going on. Uh, uh in a, in a sense, I have put up some videos. Uh, Slim DT, he's a rapper. He's my friend Brett. We might be related. That's a whole another story for another time. And um, he's he his um he's been living with us for about a um, for over a month now. And I've been doing stuff with him. Yes, I do rap. Not here. <laughs> we have go check him out. I'll put the link in the description when I get the link to his channel. One day. <coughs> Sorry about that. Oh. It took a dive. Um. So yeah, there's there's been a lot of stuff going on. I've been doing rap stuff with him. I've been just doing work. I've yeah, there's a lot. So I have some fun. I have funny stories from work though. I mean, I know whenever you do stuff that's outside of the house, and when you're going out and about and interacting with people, you're going to have stories. But I always feel like when I tell stories to other people, I annoy them with it. I don't know why, but this this one's this story. Um, it's gotten people to to laugh quite a few times. So oh look, Blair, I think you guys can see yourself in here. Say hi. <laughs> okay, so dang it, you again. You see him. Okay, so in our Acme, which is where I work, I push carts and. I'm, I do bagging at Acme, and so I was pushing carts one day, and I don't have a watch. My the strap on mine broke, and my, we still haven't found a way to fix it because it's that's another long story. It's not like just the strap; it's literally like there's a, the watch head. The watch head is here, and the um the the rubber part. There's a little rubber portion of the strap that like fit in, and there was a metal stick that had springs inside so that you could push it in put it through the watch and then kind of like lock it in place let it go and it would pop open and hold it in that broke I tried hot gluing it it worked for a while then the hot glue came off did hot glue again yeah it wore off, it did, it wore off again after a while I tried Gorilla Glue didn't really work so we're back to the drawing board but anyway, I don't I don't have anything to tell all the time because I'm not supposed to be looking at my phone because they said if you do, you get <laughs> like if if you look at you're on your phone you might get fired because people yeah and so um I was going out of the acne. We have a set of double doors here and there's a big area that has there's glass all here and there inside there are carts. So you go through the the inside sort of double doors, and then you can go out through another like there's there's an indoor on one side on closer to the inside of the store, and then there's an outdoor. Well, no, the outdoor is closer to the store. You know what? It doesn't matter. The outdoor's here, indoor's here. I was going out, and these these three girls were going in. One, two of them looked to be about twenty years old, I'd say. The other looked to be about 18, slightly older than me. And so, I, w I was walking out. I, d I forgot to look at the time when I, had been when I had been inside. So I said, do any of you ladies have a time? Stop that. Uh, one of the 20-year-olds looked down at her phone, looked up at me, and told me the time. I don't even remember what it was. It was probably about an hour or so before my shift was over. 
because I was working the late shift that day. And the, the 18 year old, no lie, this is too silly to make up. She, she was looking at her phone. She didn't even look up. Like she had looked up before when she first saw me, but then she had looked back down at her phone and she didn't even acknowledge me after that. She was looking at her phone, didn't look up, and said, it's time for you to get off work and come home with me. I was like, <coughs> uh, have a great day, and walked away. Was, I don't even know how to respond to it. So I just kind of went back to the uh, the polite, have a great day, and you know, uh, it was funny. I didn't. There are a lot of funny things that happen at uh, Acme. I like my job because I get to interact with a lot of people. And uh, interacting with people has always been one of my favorite things to do. Because when you interact with people, you, have to, you get to have fun. You get to talk and make jokes and stuff. And that's what I love doing. I love making people laugh. Like you guys. Hopefully you laughed at that story. Or at least at my reaction. <laughs> so, um... Yeah. Uh, my my sister and I have been making uh, um have been building a, a Minecraft server uh with my friend with my friends um Brandon Mark uh Slim DT who he hasn't been on lately because his computer sucks but uh, and my friend Matty and it's really cool. I'll be, uh, I'll be look, I'll be show, I'll have a, a video soon where I show you all around the server, show you some cool stuff that we built. I've been doing pro a lot of programming. Programming is fun, especially for Minecraft. It's a lot of figuring out what things mean and then putting in number values or values that you know for the that that can go into places to make the fit the things their own. Basically, what we're doing. Oh, yeah, I'll tell you, the, I'll give you a basic rundown. Basically, we're making D&D &D in Minecraft. If, for those of you who don't, of you who don't know, D&D &D is Dungeons and Dragons, which is the original role-playing game. There's classes, and there's going to be quests, and, and NPCs, and... Oh, it's going to be great. No, uh, I made a... <laughs> In the programming, I made a reference to Sky does Minecraft. If any of you know him, uh, on, if you ever, if, when we have released the server, if you ever play it and you see another person, you can, you'll go up to them. You'll see their nameplate uh, where they have their username. Right below it, it'll, it'll show how many squids they've killed. I don't like squids either. They're evil. We have a we have a ship ships plugin that allows us that allows us to make literally we can make we can make a ship. Put a sign on it, sit in naming the ship, and then you can move the entire ship. You can turn it around, you can back it up, you can move it forward, you can teleport to it and make and add sub pilots. It's the coolest. So I had to read that. And um, but I found out that if there are, if you um, if you if you're trying to sail, like I had. Uh, my friend Mark, his boat was in like open waters. We got it. We gotten it all the way out to a deep ocean biome. We tried moving it, and it said there was something in the way of the engine path. And we're like, "What can be in the way of the engine path? There's nothing in the. There's nothing in the way. We're in the deep ocean biome. We get out. To, I, so I try to move it backwards, and it goes backwards. It's like, okay, that's funny. I go out. And then I try, we try to move it forward again. It goes, it goes back forward. Try it again. Doesn't move. It says there's something in the engine path. It could be in the engine path. Go out. Squid. Just loading. Going. Yeah, what's going on? So we killed them. Tried moving forward. Look at that. We moved. Yeah. Squids are evil. Sky predicted it. He knew it. Go Sky. <laughs> if, if anything, this is going to be my first video for the day because I need to catch up. I'm probably going to be doing. I'm going to be doing one for the mine. One to show you the Minecraft server. And I'll probably be doing um another Assassin's Creed one for the day. So peace out, guys.